Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a beautiful set of resin marble coasters. After mixing her Part A and Part B resin, she mixed in some of Deepon's White Ocean Wave pigment paste. And she pours clear resin into smaller cups to add the rest of her pigments. She'll be using just resin's pigment paste in the shade Parchment. And she mixes the pigment well in the container before adding a small amount into her cup. The next pigment she'll be using is also by Just Resin in the shade Aluminum. And she has some acrylic ink in the shade Carbon Black, which she'll be mixing into the Aluminum Pigmented Resin. Then she'll be using Just Resin's pigment paste in the shade Bright Gold. Here she's pouring some of the aluminum pigmented resin into a separate small cup and she'll be adding in drops of the acrylic ink and mixing it together. Next she takes some of Just Resin's pigment paste in the shade Bronze and she mixes it into the other cup of aluminum pigmented resin without the acrylic ink. Now that all of her pigments are mixed in, she starts to pour all of them into a separate cup one by one to do a dirty pour. Once all of the pigments are in the cup, with a wooden stick, she ever so slightly mixes it. And in the meantime, she's pouring some resin into these keychain molds. Now she starts by taking her clear resin and pouring it into small sections of the molds. Then she takes some tinted shredded mirror and with a spoon carefully places it in those areas where she added the clear resin. Here's what it looks like in the bag. She continues to add more and uses a wooden stick to make slight adjustments. Now she'll be adding in some metallic decorative rocks into that same area, which looks like this. Once everything's in place, she takes her cup with the different pigmented resins mixed inside and starts to pour into the molds. She pours mainly surrounding the decorative rocks and shredded mirror. Then she starts to pour in her white pigmented resin. And she rotates taking turns pouring the different pigmented resins into the mold. Here she starts to add in more of the decorative rocks.
and she continues to make adjustments with the wooden stick. She came back the next day to add some varnish and the shade Champagne. She shakes the bottle well, pours it into a small cup, and with a small brush applies it around where the decorative rocks are. And she also applies it into areas of the resin which gives it an amazing marble effect. She allows that to dry and pours in another layer of resin to seal that in. She also added a heat resistant top coat to which I'll leave the link to a video above. And here's a clip of my mom demolding the coasters. She added the same varnish onto the edges, and here's the final product. And before I end today's video, I'll be announcing the giveaway winner who I'll message on Instagram so that they can claim their prize. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.